Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Millennia, where the nation of Cabordia finally finds itself in the Age of Revolution, and we did have to deal with quite a lot of troublesome revolutionaries last time. They just sort of popped upon the map out of nowhere, and they were right next to our cities. And initially, it did look quite bad, didn't it? It did look a little bit worrying. There were lots of revolutionaries, and they did appear to be quite tough. However, as often happens here in the Geek Cupboard, we managed to muddle through just fine, which was wonderful. Hooray for muddling through just fine. There was some fighting over here, and down here, I think, we even did a little bit of bribery. There were some quite tough revolutionaries stood right next to Kazan, and we bribed them to go away, and they did, which was wonderful. So we got rid of the revolutionaries, which was quite good. However, it did highlight to us the point that maybe our military are a little bit behind the times now. The revolutionaries turned up with proper kind of rifly type things, and we were trying to fight them off with samurai and people with spears. So maybe it might be worth looking at spending some of that 278 warfare XP on doing some upgrades, if we can. I'm not sure if we can, but I think it might be worth a little look. So if we go over here, look, can we possibly upgrade anything in here? Okay, so no, that's the kind of guard reserves. Okay, so nothing going on there. How about over here? nothing over here. We can't upgrade the crossbowmen. We can't upgrade them. Maybe we don't have the thing to actually upgrade them to unlocked, possibly. That might be the issue. But okay, so nothing going on there. I think that's one of our daimyo sort of people, so we can't upgrade those. Anything in Northampton? Nothing there either. But again, they're all just kind of the guard reserve people. How about over here? There we go. Lovely upgrade Yarrow. Upgrade to Explorer. Oh, that's, oh, yeah, that's the scout being upgraded to an explorer, which I don't think uses the Warfare XP. That's Exploration XP. Oh, okay, no one to keep that, so we can do scholarly things. So, okay, nothing going on there either. Um, you lot, there must be something that can be upgraded in here. Nothing at all, not even these guys. We can't even upgrade the Damascus sword units. Okay, no, nope, nothing going on there. Don't imagine we can do anything there or just here. It's not looking good, is it? It's not looking good. I was hoping to upgrade loads of things and just work our way through that big pile of XP, but no, apparently it's not going to happen. No and no. Right, okay, so we can't do any upgrades at all. That was a wonderful use of time. However, maybe in here we could spend 75 of these points to at least get some volunteers. That gives us oh, a mounted rifle. I don't even know what that is, but yes, we shall have one, please. So pop that into there. What is a mounted rifle? Oh, I see. I see. I thought maybe it was mounted on like, you know, a little motorized sort of, uh, I don't know, vehicle or some sort. But no, it's people with rifles on a horse. Okay, right. Wonderful. So I don't think we can do that again for a while, can we? Another four turns. But if we just did that in every single city... That would be you know, quite a big, powerful kind of increase to our army there. Uh, what are they? Strength 60. That is not too bad at all. That's not too bad. In fact, you guys, can you go over there and join them? Are you able to sort of gallop over and join them? There we go. That's a bit better. So that fighting force there, 333. Yeah, okay. That's quite good. And then maybe, maybe we should possibly, instead of you know, building the new buildings which is good and exciting, and I liked in that, possibly we should spend, I don't know, just, I don't know, maybe 10, 15, 20 years just getting some better troops. Phase out the old ones, bring in the new ones. That might be a good idea. But, okay, right, let's get time ticking on a bit, shall we? Oh, no, we got to go and fortify all you lot now. Yeah, it's fine. Fortify everybody. There we go. Let's get time ticking on. Uh, we haven't had, as of yet, although I'm now waiting for it to appear next turn, any sight of Greece moving into a new age. Because that normally happens, doesn't it? Up here it says, oh, somebody's going into a new age and it's going to be Greece. But now, no, look, they're not quite ready to move into the new age just yet, which is quite good. That's quite encouraging. Right, get the boats moving around. And I think that boat is also coming back. The boats have been sort of um, told to come back home and guard our shores because that seems like quite a good idea. Um, yeah, OK, keep time moving on. I think we're researching machinery and then when that's done... We're going to make an effort to try to get to, what was it, like urbanization or something. Because urbanization unlocks sewers, and sewers give you a gigantic great big boost of sanitation, which is going to be super helpful. So let's try and get that done, shall we? However, I notice down here we have a pointy arrow saying, hey, don't forget about these things. Do you know what? Let's not forget about these things. Oh, also, 
hang on, oh, three regions have completed what they were doing. Okay, so what have you done? Here we go, Bristol now has a barracks. Okay, so what do we now need to get exciting things? What if we wanted, say, an early machine gun? What would we need? A military base, which requires militarization. That's gunpowder, that's gunpowder. That's a standing army upgrade. That's gunpowder. Okay, we might possibly need gunpowder or standing army. There's planes. A biplane bomber. We still have people with crossbows. This will this will melt our minds. Um, okay, or do we get something down here? I mean, a power grid is tempting. It is tempting. But I did just say, hey, let's boost our military a little bit. Although we can't do that much with it. We need other buildings. We need gunpowder. And we need, like, other military things. So I think we might just... Let's carry on doing this for now. And then when we have the other kind of, you know, fancier research, we'll come back and try and get some of these or not. An early tank! A tank! This this is, like, completely incomprehensible science to our people right now. A tank is just the, you know, the, the sort of insane imaginations of a maniac. That just can't be a real thing to our people. Um, okay, maybe... Barricades is... Oh, that's kind of like, you know, defensive kind of stuff. Turrets give us exploration XP, board of vision. Okay, and a little bit of capital attack. Okay, that's not so bad. Central bank, though. Here we go. That's also that need for education, which is okay in Bristol, but that's no bad thing. But it does give more money. It does give more money, which is quite good. Do you know what? We will have one of those over in Bristol. And then Northampton's finished its barracks as well. Um, okay, yep, yeah, get a bank as well, because, you know, more money is always a good thing. And Liverpool has completed a barracks too. It looks like Liverpool already has a bank, which is nice. Uh, let's get a police department, shall we? Let's get Cabordia's, I think, first police department over in Liverpool, please. Right, there we go. The secrets of machinery have been unlocked, which is all very good. So we should now be able to, I think, go and upgrade a few improvements on the map. I think we should have better kind of logging camps and better mines and things. So we'll go and check that in a second. However, where do we go next in terms of research? Do we take a little bit of a sidestep? and go for gunpowder to maybe get some better fighty people on board, or maybe go to Standing Army to get some different fighty people, or do we actually begin working on tech in the Age of Revolution itself? I think maybe for now, let's get urbanisation. I think our military is, I mean, it's creaking around the edges, but we can muddle through a little bit longer, I think, with it. So I think if we get urbanisation, that means that we can build a sewer. I think that's the sewer, isn't just there for 30 sanitation. That would keep them going for so long. That's really good. What's next door? What's that building? A grocery store. Ah, yes. Okay, yeah. So 30 food. Again, that's not to be sniffed at. That does require a little bit of power. So we can't get that up and running right now. Do the sewers require power? I imagine not. No. Okay, that's fine. And then that there is some sort of upgrade, you think. Increases the maximum town level your regions can support. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what? We'll go for that now and then possibly come back and grab the other two fighty kind of techs at some point in the future. But I think yeah, it's important that we get that done right now. Okie doke. So what can we now upgrade? Oh yeah, here, look. So what's that? It's an upgraded mine. Okay, so at the moment, what do we get from it? We get one copper and one coal. But now with a deep mine, we get two copper and two coal. Yeah, okay, do that, please. So do that. We have 187 points remaining. So do it with the other mine, because that's brilliant. And then do it with the gold mine, please, because that's going to give us even more gold, which is wonderful. Okay, we have extra kind of surplus things now, which is brilliant. And then down here, we've got, what is that? The saw pit. Okay, so what does that upgrade to? That goes to a saw mill. So it produces engineering XP converts four logs to four lumber. At the moment, it converts three logs to three lumber. Okay, so if we do that, does that mean Northampton is now down on logs again? I think it does. I think it does. Bother rations. Okay, we need an upgrade to the, like, the logging camp things, to these things. Can they be a bit better, please? Can we make them more efficient? Can we have an innovation? I don't know, sharper saws or something? I don't know. Is there anything down here? No. Okay, right, so there are the upgrades. That's all done, which is good. You know, they're good upgrades. Now, what else can we do? 
What else can we do with all of these things? What's got kind of surplus of anything now? What do we have that's a surplus? We've got some rice. Oh, hang on. Yeah, over here, look. Rice and grapes. But I don't think we have any kind of winery going on. So why don't we get that over there? We go winery, 27 points. That's hardly anything. So we could drop that in like that. So Liverpool is now turning the grapes into wine. So there's the wine. Got two, uh, two units of lovely wine now, which is good. We could really do with something which helps with faith. But I don't think we have anything that can work on that. Are we thinking about getting like books and things again? Um, where is the... Where is it? There's a thing. There you go. Religious scribe. So that converts two paper to two religious texts. Okay, but do we have paper? I don't even know if we could possibly get paper. Liverpool, do you have paper? I don't think you do. You've already got books. Ah, okay. No, we've gone down the other way with that. Okay. However, we do have two gold now. At the moment, it's just been consumed for wealth, as you would imagine. But could we maybe turn that gold into jewellery of some kind. That would be quite good. Where is the jewellers? Can't see it anywhere. Be good if we could put these into alphabetical order because I can't see where it is. Hang on a minute. There's got to be a jeweller somewhere. It's down there. There we go. So that takes two gold, which we have, and converts it into two jewellery. Okay, so wealth, luxury, and production. Um, Yeah, pop that over there. So Liverpool, now as well as having wine, also has jewellery. It's very fancy over there in Liverpool right now. That's quite exciting. I like that. And we still do have 85 improvement points left. And also a big pile of the sort of specialist points too. Um, an oil well. Oh, that's exciting. Plus one extra worker slot. And it gathers petroleum. But I don't think we have any of that. I don't even think we have any in the sea. Given that we do have quite a lot of coastline. But maybe we'd have some oil in the sea. But... No, got nothing going on. No oil anywhere around here. Um, what does the oil look like on the map? I'm not entirely sure. Can you get oil in the sea? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, right. So we can't do that then. Never mind. Um, oh yeah, we've got a tea house. Again, they're spelt, they're spelt tea wrong. They're spelt T-C-O-F-F-E-E, which is yeah, it's a bit of a mistake in the game, but that's fine. Um, so what does that do? That is unrest suppression. Converts tea or coffee to analytics for knowledge. Okay, a social hub serving tea uh, and light snacks. It sounds lovely. I want to go there. Or a bakery converts four flour to four bread. Um, I know we've got a bakery already, haven't we? We put one of them in last time, I think. Um, okay, what do we do then with the great big pile of points? What needs some stuff? So Northampton might need some housing at some point. Bristol also needs housing and also a little bit of food, Bristol. Okay, so Bristol's short on food. Liverpool also a bit short on food and housing and faith. And then how's Kazan doing? Kazan, how are you doing down here? You're okay for food. Housing, sort of so-so. Uh, faith is okay. Right, so I think of all the places, I would say over here, maybe Bristol could do with a little bit of help. So what can we do for you, Bristol? Although it appears that all of your sort of all of the sort of tiles are occupied. So we can't build too much. We can only upgrade. Although, hang on a minute. Food. We could put boats into the sea. We're good at boats. Uh, where are the boats? Fishing fleets. So if we put a fishing fleet on that tuna, that's got that to 170. And then put another fishing fleet down onto that tuna there. Because they're working it already. They're working that anyway. So we we'll do that 194 in terms of food. And then maybe help Liverpool out as well in terms of food. Get a fishing fleet. Put it on... Uh, they're working that tuna there. So put it on that tuna there. 158% food. Okay, right. And then we've burned through our improvement points. But we still do have those left. So an oil well or a coffee house. Okay, at the moment they're not overly appealing. But right, okay. This is all fine. So we've got one turn until a culture boost thing. So let's get that underway. And potentially, I don't think we necessarily need to do like a town or anything. Is it worth or less? Hang on, can Northampton accommodate another town? Um, yeah, get get the boats moving. The boat can come down here. Yay for that. Oh, is that? That's Exploration XP. 
and I want to keep that for the Scholar upgrade, which we can now do. Hang on, we can do this now. So we can either unlock a translator, which is not overly useful for us. We don't have that much in the way of foreign manuscripts. So, um, yeah, that's not going to be overly helpful. However, down here, Scholarly Society. Five education, and it provides books, which is knowledge and luxury and production and wealth and government XP and education as well. We shall unlock the secrets of a scholarly society, please. Because that sounds quite good, and I think we should get one. What's the actual sort of end bit of this? No, not that one. I've clicked the wrong thing. Um, we have to have three scholarly societies. I think we can get that done. I think we can get that sorted. Um, yeah, okay, brilliant. That's all very exciting. So yeah, we've got another little sort of thing going on, something else we can build. Um, right, so do we upgrade our boat there to a man of war? Yeah, let's do that, look. Use some final bits of exploration XP to get that done. Uh, you carry on your move, please. That's going to be good. You can then sort of fortify over there. And now we have our culture power. Now, how many towns can Northampton accommodate? Three. And it's only got two. I was thinking maybe, do we put one over here, look? Do we put one here and then make sure that we continue spreading out in that direction to fill up that gap? Because if we do... I think the next turn, the town will sort of uh, grow to accommodate these two tiles here. That's got you know, something on it. That's got animals on it. That's a resource. That's quite good. So we could do that. If we put that in there, that'll tie that to Northampton. That's in the region of Northampton. And then, yeah, we're just going to cover this land over here, which means Japan can't have it effectively. Yeah, do you know what? We're going to do that. Okay, what's it going to be called? It's the town of Austin. Okay, hello there. So Springfield, Portland, New Orleans, Austin and Lawrence. We've got, uh, where are we? We've got Albany over there and Plano, Plano, Arlington over there and Boston, of course, right down here. Okay, yeah, that's quite good. I like that. And we have an idle region, Northampton. Ah, Northampton. Can you build the Scholarly Society? Yes. Get one of those done, please. Doesn't require power, so that's all quite good. It's only six turns in Northampton. Just six little turns, which is very good. Um, yeah, okay, brilliant. Let's just keep time ticking. Oh, look, it's already expanded. It's already expanded over there. Right, this is good. What we'll do is, just very quickly next time, we'll pop over here. That's not kind of what I wanted to happen, but okay, bring the boat round. Um, over here, we will immediately put something on there. Oh, and also and, and get the Man of War upgrade. There we go. That's that done. Get the boat upgraded and then come back over here. And yes, put a hunting camp on there, please. Wonderful. Which means now Northampton has one lot of meat. Now, does that mean potentially does Northampton need... Where is the thing? What do they have? A, a kitchen. That turns... Oh, that's two meat into delicacies. Botherations. Okay, nope, we're not going to do that then. Never mind. Abandon that plan. Okay, Liverpool's housing has gone into the red, which is never a good thing at all. So maybe over here, we should build our very first mansion. There we go. So a mansion is one power drain. Okay, so it won't do anything right now. But if we could very soon give Liverpool a power grid, that means it could power the mansion and provide 25 housing. I think let's get that in right now. Got a little bit of room over here. So we'll put it on that space there. So it has gone up to 200. Oh, hang on. Liverpool is generating power. Is it generating power? Have you got a power grid, Liverpool? Did we give you a power grid? We might have given you one. No. There's the power grid there. I mean, queue that up whilst we're here. Queue up the power grid. Maybe they generate a little bit of power on their own. I'm not entirely sure, but that mansion has sorted out the housing issue, which is pretty good. And then soon-ish, we can get the sanitation sorted out, which really means it's only faith that's causing the problem. I'm not entirely sure how we can get that up too much more, but there we go. Right, and Bristol has completed its building. What do we do? I mean, just to be prepared, why don't we get the, oh, hang on, scholarly society and then a power grid? Cue those two things up. 
And then maybe after that, we'll think about getting fighty things in. But yeah, I think, yeah, get those two in next, please. And then just whilst we're here, Northampton, when you've built your scholarly society thing, build yourself a lovely, lovely power grid. Go and treat yourself. Okay, we have another culture power to use, which is all very wonderful. However, not quite as wonderful is that Greece are going into the age of rocketry in three turns. Once again, Greece are leading the way in terms of the age that we're going into. And again, I think that's the completely ordinary one. That's the not very exciting one. So we're not going into the age of generals, the age of dystopia or the age of utopia. They all sound really interesting. But no, we're going into the age of rocketry, which also does sound interesting. You know, hooray for rockets, going to the moon and such like. But the age of utopia, that sounds really good. The age of generals sounds very exciting. So, you know, it's a shame we're not going into the sort of the slightly more interesting ages. We're not kind of deviating away from the norm. But there we go. So, what was it? Three turns. Is that what Greece is going to do? Is it three turns? Yes. The age of rocketry may become the future in three turns. And Brazil, our good buddies Brazil, are also trying to work toward that age as well. Okay, we're not quite there. In three turns, we'll have got one of the technologies we need to move out of the current age. And then we need another three after that. Oh dear. However, yes, with our culture power, maybe we could do a Eureka. We can get 215 knowledge from this, which I think is, I mean, that's most of urbanization, which is quite good. So do you know what? Yes, we shall go for that, please. Let's do Eureka. And apparently, uh, people have said in the comments that the science points you get by doing Eureka are carried over to the next thing you start researching. I thought they were kind of wasted. I thought that, yeah, if we had sort of surplus knowledge points left over after we got urbanization done, they just kind of went in the bin. But no, people have said in the comments that they do get carried over. So it is worth doing. So we shall do a Eureka right now, which is good. So hooray, we've got urbanization done. That is wonderful. Where do we go now? So communication rail, aeronautics, applied science, industry, steel, or militarization. I kind of feel a bit like we shouldn't be going into any of these. We're not kind of ready for this. We're more sort of over here still, I feel. <laughs> Our people are sort of, they're still over in this age. They haven't bought themselves to move on just yet. They can't do it. Um, I mean, applied science, what's that all about? So fertilized farm. Ah, okay. So that requires power. That looks like a power station. Okay, that's a power station that runs on coal. That is a power... Central power. 12 power. Just provides 12 power. Oh, okay. That seems quite good. A lab. Yep, okay. We like the lab. And that is a milling factory. Okay, that could be quite good. Aeronautics, not so bothered. They're all kind of fighty things. Rail could be quite fun. Container yard for domestic exports and gain innovation. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that communication though. What's this about? Research building. Okay, but that does require power. I think maybe get applied science first, build everybody central power. That provides 12 power and then they can just go and build other things like, you know, the research labs or whatever they are and, you know, telegraph office and all that stuff. But let's get that done first. It's only seven turns. It's only seven turns because of our Eureka boost thing, which is brilliant. So well done, whoever had that Eureka moment. Good job. Very clever. Um, Northampton housing looking a little bit rubbish. Let's get a mansion for you guys. Pop it. Josh, put it there because it's on the sort of scrub land, which is not quite as good. So pop that into there. So housing now on 200%, which is brilliant. And Kazan down here. Hello, little Kazan. How are you? Um, what do we get down here? Oh, there's loads of things you can build, Kazan. So many things. Do we have anything that could help you with production? Is there anything that could help you just build things a little bit quicker? I don't think there is. I don't think there is. That's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Is Kazan lacking anything? Not really. Not really. Okay, maybe let's upgrade the, what's up, the waterworks to the sewers. For another, well, 15 sanitation on top of what there already is. So, yeah, we shall have that, please. Get yourself some sewers in, just to make sure that your sanitation is all lovely and sorted. There you go. You're welcome, Kazan. And then over here, we do have 300 Diplomacy XP, which does mean we could either spawn a merchant to maybe get some more money, but we already earn 183 money per turn. I think 
Let's get into the point in tolerance. Which one was tolerance again? Tolerance was wealth per term. Oh, yeah, let's do that then. So get a point of tolerance, please. So up to 191 per turn. Warfare will cap out soon. Arts looks like it might cap out. Government will cap out as well. Okay, this is going very well. Next turn, I think we get another one of the government social fabric points. I can't recall which one that was, but we will find out when everyone's had their turn. Come along, barbarians in Japan. There we go. Right, so which one is it? Organisation. That is expansion cost down. Yeah, okay, we're not doing anything else with this. And Republic is all kind of maxed out. So, uh, yeah, okay, organisation, please. Another point in that. And then Warfare will be a couple of turns. And Arts will also be a couple of turns. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Do we need to do anything with the Art XP? Is it worth, you know, actually sort of investing it in something? Spread religion. Promote your state religion in a foreign region. Oh, that might be quite fun. Hello, Japan. Would you like to become teaist? What about over in this place? What about over here, look? It might annoy Japan, though, but I think it could be quite good. We've not done this yet. So currently, what's the sort of spread there? So 13 people follow Judaism, 8 people follow teaism, and one population is secular. Okay, so if we did that, do we know what it does? Gain 20 teaism. Um, okay. I don't know if that's going to help or not, but how about we just do it anyway? Uh, cannot spread religion uh, to nations you are hostile or at war with. Oh, botherations. Okay, never mind. Japan, can we bury the hatchet? Now, oh, no, you really hate us. <laughs> you really don't like us, Japan. You're really angry with us. Brazil, can we have a chat with you guys? Can we open an embassy? I think we tried this before and they said no, didn't they? Oh, we haven't got enough diplomacy XP. Okay, right, we're not going to do that then. Okay, right, fine, let's just tick time on until, I mean, maybe until we've got this. In fact, no, it'll be until we move into the age of rocketry, won't it? Come on then, Greece, take us into the next age, go on. Just taking a quick look at Northampton here. So Northampton generates four lots of lovely tea, which is wonderful. One lot gets sent to Liverpool, lucky, lucky Liverpool. So Northampton does have currently three tea, just, you know, being used and making lovely tea out of it. And of course we like tea, it makes everything better. And we're all tea, so we have to have lots of tea so we can pray to the great teapot god or whatever. However, is it maybe worth over in Northampton taking one of those units of tea and putting it into a tea house over here? I think that might be quite a good idea. Again, it says coffee house. I spelled tea wrong, but never mind. So that converts one tea to one analytics. So people can go into the tea house, have a lovely cup of tea, enjoy some light snacks, as it says there, and generate a little bit of research. I think that might be a good use for it. Let's get our very first tea house up and running over here in Northampton. Uh, let's put it... I mean, what if we put it there? So it's got lovely kind of coastal views. I quite like that. Yeah, we'll pop that there. What does it look like? Can we go and have a look? Um, okay, it looks... I mean, it doesn't look overly tea housey to me, but okay, fine. It's a building with other buildings around it. But more importantly, yes, that's now generating analytics, I think, which is knowledge. So we are now drinking tea and generating knowledge. Tea is now solving all the problems of the world, which is amazing. That's very good. I mean, it does make me think if we could potentially get another domestic export thing up and running, we could send some tea over to, say, Bristol, and then Bristol could build a tea house. Well, no, not Bristol. They haven't got any room, have they? Uh, send it down to Kazan or Liverpool or whatever. And then, um, yeah, they could turn theirs into, into knowledge as well. In fact... Hang on. Yeah, Liverpool do have tea. Liverpool, would you like a tea house? I'm sure you would because they're completely brilliant. Uh, let's get you a tea house. We shall put it there. The only thing is, that's the final sort of bit of floor space that Liverpool has. In fact, no, that's not entirely true. Liverpool does have that little bit over there. I mean, maybe that could be quite fun. You could have like a little sort of boaty adventure over to the Liverpool tea house over there maybe do you know what we're gonna do it we're gonna do it why not let's put a tea house over there for liverpool and now it's generating even more knowledge which is wonderful look at that how much are we generating um do you know what we're doing so 18 from liverpool 13 from northampton eight from bristol three from kazan and 1.47 from malmo thank you malmo um yeah because liverpool are leading the way in terms of research 
which is really good. Thank you, Liverpool. Um, what else can we do with all these things you've got? You've got marble. Um, oh, could we possibly turn the marble into something? Statues or whatever? I don't know. But again, we are running out of floor space over here. So maybe we'll do that carefully. Uh, I mean, we have got sort of bits over here where we could... Could we potentially... Uh, I mean, can we put one of the prospectors over here and get some more gold? Could we do that? Is that a thing we can do? Where are the prospectors? What's clear cut? Changes a forest, deep forest, jungle or swamp terrain into grassland. Oh, oh, right. Okay, we're not so bothered about that. Um, Yeah, where's the sort of prospector person? There we go. 36 of those points. But then potentially we could get some more gold over there in them Nar hills. Do you know what? That's what we will do. We will pop you into there and then grab you back out of there. Um, yeah, nip over to there then and do some prospecting. Hooray, we've found some more gold. And then let's use this to build a deep mine wherever that is. Now, there we go. Pop that onto there. And now Liverpool has some spare gold. Just a little bit of extra gold kind of hanging around. Two lots of it, in fact. That's really good. That's very good. Right. OK, can we do anything else with these points? I mean, Kazan. Kazan's got a couple of spare spaces there. What can we do with anything down here? Got some fish, got some shells. Oh, we've got wheat. OK, could we potentially... We are exporting wine to Bristol, which is probably quite good. But Northampton is lacking in... It's not lacking in wheat, is it? It's lacking in flour. Um, do we make flour in Northampton? I'm fairly sure we do. Yeah, we've got one mill. Oh, one mill is making two lots of flour. So that's why we're short. Okay, so could we, down here in Kazan, have ourselves another mill, generate some flour, and then send that to Northampton? And that'll free up one of Northampton's foreign imports to maybe change that to logs. So then the logging thing can be completed. Is that is that a good idea? I don't know. <laughs> it's probably a terrible idea, but that's what we'll go for. Why not? Uh, where are we? So a mill. Yeah, so a mill turns two wheat into flour. Okay, so pop that into there. So Kazan now has some flour. So domestic export, change that to flour, confirm that, and send it to Northampton. Okay, so Northampton now receives flour from Kazan so we can now change the foreign import to be logs yet yeah, confirm that and there we go right we've kind of we're importing the right things again oh this is very good I love all this kind of stuff I like all this sort of fiddling about with you know, who's sending what to where and all that kind of stuff and generating sort of jewelry and I don't know tea houses and other bits and bobs I quite like all that I do like that and you have to put it down the map and stuff that's all very good uh right Okay, so you lot, yep, you can hang around a bit. And is it next turn? It's next turn, isn't it? Well, of course it is. Yep, here we go, look. <laughs> Let's just dive into the age of rocketry, which we're nowhere even near, dearie me. <laughs> I think in the age of rocketry, we do get a new government, I think. Here we go. Wooshy kind of things going on. Oh, look, it's Greece again. Come on, Greece. Just doing all the standard stuff. Okay. The space race has begun. Build a space centre and try to be first to set foot on the moon. New governments and national spirits unlocked. Join international factions by changing governments. I think, given that we still have, like, spearmen and stuff around and people with swords, I think maybe going to the moon is a little bit beyond us right now. But, okay, good. That's exciting for everybody else. Uh, okay, we could potentially boost our military power a little bit by doing this thing. Let's do our volunteer thing first. Let's put them into, uh, I don't know, Liverpool. Just pop them over into Liverpool. Just, you know, a little bit more military power. And then arts. I don't think we need to do any of this kind of stuff. So we could just do this. So we get a community point, which is more unrest reduction. Yeah, we shall have that. Thank you. Why not? Might as well use the art XP on something. What do we need for the next scholarly thing? 180 would be quite good. And scientific process generates knowledge, exploration domain power. We need to get things that give us more exploration XP. 
we're picking up 12 per turn. But if we could get something that gives us more, that would be quite good. Okay, Liverpool's finished work on the power grid, which is good. So now I think let's get the sewers in to sort out their kind of sanitation issues. And then after that, get the scholarly society in to provide lots of education and books and everything else. So yeah, cue those two things up, please. There you go, Liverpool. You know what you're doing for the next few years. Okay, culture power is ready. Research is done, which is wonderful. Right, applied science. Okay, so we can now get better farms, but also, yes, we can get central power buildings. So we can actually provide power to each of our cities, which is good. Okay, so now we need to pick what else we want to do. Um, I mean, communication did seem quite good, if only for the Research Institute. For three knowledge. Three knowledge from each of our cities would be quite good. So do you know what? We'll get communication next, and then possibly get industry after that. I'm not entirely sure, but there we go. Then that's what we'll do for now. So get communication done next and then culture power. Again, do we Eureka this? It's not quite as effective, I don't think. 172 knowledge though, out of the 418 it needs. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Do you know what? Again, yes, do a Eureka, please. Down to just four turns. That's huge. Okay, right, yeah, that was brilliant. That was really good. Um, okay, Northampton needs to build a thing. Power grid is done. Um, yeah, get the central power thing done. Oh, no, hang on. Sewers first, then central power, I think, because Northampton's got 103% sanitation. So, uh, yeah, we'll get that done. And then, yeah, go for central power. And Northampton can have loads of power to power lots of fancy new things now and into the future. Oh, and yes, of course, we can upgrade the farms, can't we? So what do we get if we upgrade that farm there? So currently... It's a Swidden farm, so it generates two wheat. Okay, so what if it's a fertilised farm? It's six wheat, but also a power drain. Do you know what? In not very long at all, Northampton will be able to support that. So do you know what? Yeah, let's do that, shall we? Let's get a lot of wheat. So hooray for that. Now, what's that doing? That's a mill. Oh, the mills can become milling factories, so now they can deal with the extra wheat. Um, okay, that's another power drain. So another bit of power going on that. But again, I think we can deal with it. So yeah, pop that in for now. Northampton's on 175% power. But there we go. Look, it's a proper little kind of industrial building. And some of the towns are changing now. Like the town looks a little bit more modern. So these things over here still look a little bit sort of ye olde worldy in a way, but the towns look more modern now. That's a proper sort of a modern mill factory type thing. That looks like a more modern farm. We are moving into the modern ages, which is all very exciting. Uh, what can we do with that? What's that? Oh, that's the other mill. That's the other mill. Um, okay, for now we'll leave that, I think. We won't upgrade those things right now. That's fine. Uh, right, let's get through to communication, shall we? Let's get that done. Um, unless we are going to get to... No, we're not going to get to 180 of those points before communication's done. And there we go. Communication research is complete. So we can now build ourselves a telegraph office for culture. We do want to get the research buildings in because they're going to help us out a great deal. And then we've got a publishing house. Converts paper into lots of exciting stuff. I wonder if that's an upgrade. That's got to be an upgrade to an existing thing. And then what's that? Like a pointy castle thing. Oh, a foreign office. Okay. So, oh, hang on. That gives us lots of diplomacy XP from Rome and Brazil and Greece and Japan. Okay, right. That could be quite good. One per nation. Right, okay, so we'll build that in probably Northampton, I would have thought. Um, okay, so which one of these now do we want? So rail could be quite good. Rail also, with the container yard, does give us domestic export slots. That could be quite good. That means we can export more stuff domestically around, like we just did with sending the flour to Northampton from Kazan. That gives us more options. And also, yeah, look at that, gain innovation. That does seem quite good. Aeronautics, again, not so bothered. Industry is paper factories, textile factories, cigar factory. We do have tobacco, but you know, don't smoke everybody. It's bad for you. It's terrible. Uh, steam trawler. We've got a powered sawmill. Oh, that could be quite good. That could be quite useful. Converts logs to lumber. Okay, right. That's quite good. And an assembly line for 18 production. Oh, which one do we go for? Industry. We're going to go for industry. 10 turns. Um, because only one of the nations got it, I think. 
which is quite surprising. Two of the nations have got rail, only one's got industry. Okay, right, that's fine, we'll go down that route. Um, so yeah, four turns until the next culture boost, but we do have enough to get this. Is it worth getting this done, or do we you know, just clear it out of the way, or do we save our points to then get this thing? I think we save our points and get this scientific process exploration power unlocked. I think that would be quite good. If only we had something which gave us a lot more exploration XP, but we've kind of you know, done most of the exploration we can do now, which is a little bit of a shame. What is that? What can we upgrade there? Oh, that's the printing press thing. Okay, so we can now convert, what is that? Uh, two paper into, yeah, into two books. At the moment it's one paper into one books. Does Northampton have excess paper? I'm not entirely sure it does. Oh, I think we're being sent the paper. I think the paper is being sent to us by somebody else, and then we're turning it into books. Okay, right. That might be a little bit of an issue then, because I don't think we can do much more with that. I don't think that's going to have any kind of great bearing or anything, because we haven't got enough paper to turn into additional books, which is a little bit of a shame, although it might be worth just doing anyway, just for the sake of it. Have we got another thing over here? Yes, exactly the same thing there. Um, yeah, Liverpool's got the paper, I think. Yeah, Liverpool is sending paper to Northampton. Have you got spare paper as well? I don't think you have either. Okay, that's a little bit of a shame, isn't it? But then, then we get into the situation of, is it worth then, say, Liverpool keeping the extra bit of paper it sends to Northampton, and then Liverpool upgrades that building there, so it produces two books with the two paper it would then have, and then it exports one lot of books down to Northampton, and then Northampton could clear the printing press from there, could get rid of that, and put something else there. Is that maybe what we should possibly do? I'm now not entirely sure. I don't think we can get much else in the way of in the way of paper. We haven't really got that much in the way of tree. We haven't got too much in the way of tree going on. It's not a very tree area around here. A little bit here and a bit here, and we're doing what we can with that. But yeah, we can't get much in the way of upgrades from this, look. The logging camp is the logging camp. For some reason, they're just you know, remaining as efficient as they were, I don't know, a thousand years ago. So yeah, I don't think we can do much with that. So possibly that might be what we do. So right, let's give that a go. So upgrade that, please. Okay. So that's now a publishing house. So we're going to go down to here. We are going to not export that. Ah, in fact, yeah, it's already gone. Look, it's already gone. We're not exporting that because now we've got the two books. So could we then export some books to Northampton? Wonderful. And then Northampton has books given to it by Liverpool, which means that can be destroyed. We get a little bit back, which is wonderful. And then we can build something else there. Okay, what could we build just there? What lovely new thing can we give to Northampton? Okay, Northampton has two lots of copper. So is it worth maybe building a blast furnace to turn that copper into ingots? And then we can use the ingots to make tools, for example. That might be quite a good idea. Let's do that, shall we? So blast furnace can go in uh, over... I'll do it down here, look. So they're next to each other. Okay, we'll put the blast furnace there. Okay, so we can now produce ingots, wherever they are. There we go. So we've got some like metal bars going on. And then we can either make ourselves, yeah, we can make either weapons. Okay, so we can make spears. But again, now that doesn't seem overly important, making spears, given that we're going to be going to the moon potentially soon-ish. So maybe get tools, get some production out of it, which would be quite good. So there we go. So do that, please. And that should just make things a little bit better around Northampton. And eventually, when we do get the kind of domestic export slots increased, we could send some of those tools elsewhere. We've got two lots right now. So we could send one lot of tools to somewhere else, which needs a little bit of production help. Okay, culture power time again, which is brilliant. And I think maybe again we use the Eureka. It's not getting quite as much this time around because it decreases each time. But getting 137.6 knowledge is no bad thing at all. So yeah, we shall have a bit of that. So five turns to unlock the secrets of industry is going to come down to one turn. That's just saved us a very, very long time. And could we now also unlock this over here? So unlock scientific process. So 180 of our 
exploration points go on unlocking that. But now we have a new thing over here. So where is it? 100 of those points generates almost 37 knowledge. That's not that bad. That's not that bad a thing at all. It will be replaced in age eight, which is, I think, the next one coming up. Oh, okay, so we might have limited time to use that. Uh, yeah, okay, right, no, that's good, that's good. The only thing is, we now have a little bit of a choice to make. Do we keep on sort of spending our exploration points on that, or do we save them up and get all these scholar kind of upgrades done? Because that's the sort of that's the trade-off there, isn't it? Do you want these fancy new abilities, or do you want to get these things sorted out? I mean, that one's really good. The library generates all sorts of stuff, so it might be worth getting that one in first, and then we can possibly do a bit of scientific process. I think that's what we could do. Yeah, okay, right, fine, let's get through to the next. Oh, hang on, news from abroad. Greece and Rome are now at war. Okay, that happened before, and I think the war lasted all of one turn, and then they went, oh, sorry, friend, no, we're okay now, we're good birds, and they went back to being friends again. I think maybe our boats have upgraded. I get the impression that possibly we should upgrade our kind of, uh, our fishing fleets, because there's quite a lot of pointy arrows. News from abroad, I wonder if they're at peace. Ah, there we go. What a waste of time that was. Right, choose technology though. There we go. Industry is done, which is brilliant. And 16 turns to get into the age of rocketry. We will try to bring that down as best we can with, you know, our sort of culture eureka thing and everything else. But uh, yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be quite a long time. We are lagging a long, long way behind the others again. And we do though have 217 improvement points. So is it worth getting a few of these and oh hang on a minute steam trawlers give a power drain oh okay so we can't go and get all of these done because we won't have enough power uh, okay so what if we put what's that do then so that gives us more shells that gives us more food do you know what let's get one steam trawler in over there just because we can because it's fun for some reason that increased faith why did that increase faith I don't know why that did that. We'll do it again. One power drain. Um, yeah, Faith is on 46% in Liverpool. Do it again. Oh, it didn't change that time. Did I make that up? I swear that changed. I swear that amended itself. Uh, Bristol, let's upgrade one of your tuna things to a steam trawler. So 34% Faith. 37% Faith. <laughs> How does that work? The steam trawlers, I don't know. Maybe they, they, I don't know, they're really good at tearsum or something. I don't know how that works. Okay, Bristol does need its sanitation up, doesn't it? Bristol's got to complete it. Oh, hang on a minute. We might have to do this. Um, Sewers, please. We've got a power grid. Get some sewers. Oh, and then the assembly line for 18 production over the plus eight we have now from the workshop. Yeah, get that done, please, because that's going to be amazing. Um, and also, do you know what we could do? What we could do is, Kazan, let's rush your public library because we have got a massive pile of money and we're not doing anything with it. So let's do some rushing of things. So get that done and also get your Colosseum done. There you go. Wonderful. Um, and then I think, yeah, work on a scholarly society, please. And then Liverpool, you have your scholarly society all done, which is wonderful. Um, get, I would say... Let's yeah, get the assembly line done. But again, we shall rush that for you. So 104 production for Liverpool goes up to 116, which is completely amazing. And then you can start work on a research institute. So that's a little treat for Liverpool. Uh, Northampton, our central power. Do you know what? We'll get it done. We'll rush it for a turn. There we go. And you can have maybe the telegraph office. Oh no, get the research thing in actually. Get research stuff in because it's going to help us. Um... And then Bristol, uh, I mean, yeah, do we do we treat you to the sewers? Let's treat you to the sewers, Bristol. There you go. Look, we'll build you some sewers in a hurry. Your sanitation is up to 134, which is not too bad. Uh, and then you can also, after that, work on your... That's the assembly line, isn't it? Do you know what? How much money have we got? 5,000. Okay, no, let's not spend 3,000 of it on that. But once that's done... Get a research institute in, please, just so we can try and catch up a teeny tiny bit with Greece. Because, again, we are lagging behind in terms of sciencey stuff. Oh, hang on a minute. We can get another organisation point thing. We shall have that. 
so that's an expansion cost down by 25 percent and it's looking like as well we might be able to get a tenacity point remind me what that was upkeep okay so that saves a little bit of money i'm not so bothered about that again can we just get some volunteers can we just put them down i don't know in kazan for example just to again give us the tiniest bit of military power. Okay, it's that time again. Culture power ready to use. And I think once again we use a Eureka. 110 knowledge this time. But again, it'll get us closer to moving into the next stage. So let's get that done, shall we? So 10 turns down to 6. Another 4 turns knocked off, which is quite a lot. That's quite good. Down here, what do we have? The sawmill could go to a powered sawmill. Okay, that could be quite good. So power drain, yep, okay, makes sense. Um, but it converts four logs to four lumber. Okay, Northampton, what do you do currently? You have four lumber anyway. You've got four lumber. Uh, if we upgraded that, what's... I'm just going to press the button and see what happens. Hooray, we upgraded to a thing. Um, I don't think it did very much at all. I don't think it did much, but okay, we've got a different thing now, which is fun. Yeah, kind of fancy futuristic building -y thing. Yay for progress. Over in Liverpool, do we want to maybe replace our paper mill here, which converts two logs to two paper with a paper factory, which converts three logs to three paper? The only thing is I'm not entirely sure we have enough logs. Liverpool, do you have a spare bit of wood lying around? I don't think you do. No, you only have two logs. I suppose what we could do is... We could import them in. We could get rid of the sort of trade goods there. So we sacrifice a point of culture to then get some logs in, to then be able to make more paper, which then means that possibly we could make even more books. Let's do that, shall we? So get rid of that. We'll import some logs in there. Thank you very much. And now surplus of logs, which means we upgrade that just there. So yeah, it requires a bit of power. And then yes, we should have some more paper so do that so now do we have a bit of paper yes we have a spare bit of paper which is good but what can we do with one bit of paper i don't think we can do too much with a single bit of paper to be honest um okay oh publishing house oh botherations okay yeah that's two paper that's two bits of paper. That's not helpful is it okay never mind then we can't do much with it right now um oh a lab that works. That produces analytics. Oh, we could build a lab. We could have a lab. We could have people working in the lab late one night. Let's put the lab uh, just there. Let's have a lab near Austin, shall we? Just because we can. And we have a lab over there. Look, very fancy. Oh, they've got a thing outside in the garden of the lab. They've got a, like a testing tower. or It's like a Tesla sort of... Um, Faraday cage thing or something going on. That's quite exciting. Uh, so all this is you know, trying to help us get more knowledge. That's the plan with this. Try and get more knowledge. Try and get more research on the go. Is there anything else we can do? Is there anything else we can do? We have got so many improvement points now. We've got so many of them, but we can't do that much with them at the minute. They're kind of just sort of piling up and we haven't got too much to do with them. Uh, maybe down in Kazan? Can we do something with them over in Kazan? Have we got a surplus of anything? Kazan does have three shells right now, so maybe we could get a shell die down just to make use of a few of those and get a little bit more money, possibly. And I think as well, it might be worth upgrading the mill into a milling factory because then we just get more flour, which is more food, which will help Kazan keep growing for a longer time. So we'll get a milling factory in, please. That means now Kazan is down on power a little bit, but that's okay, Kazan, don't you worry. And then we will get a shell dyer in over there on the final tile that Kazan can build on. So get that in over there. So that generates a tiny bit more money, which is very good. Um, and then over here, do we upgrade this? Let's upgrade that as well. Let's drain more of Kazan's power that it doesn't have and get a slightly better farm in. Okay, so Kazan is hopelessly down on power. Kazan, are you building a power grid? I can't recall what you're doing. Um, okay, what we'll do is we shall pop the power grid in first. Four and a half thousand money. Do you know what, Kazan? We earn a lot of money every turn. We're going to treat you to a power grid. You're very welcome. There you go. Lovely power grid. And then go back to, was it the scholarly society you're working on? Yes. Okay. Right. 
There you go. So Kazan can now power all those things that we just built for it, which is brilliant. There you go. You're welcome, Kazan. Okay, Northampton's completed our very first research institute, which is really quite good. There we go. I think now get an assembly line for a huge increase to production. That's going to help. And then maybe get a police department in just because it's three turns and we can and it might help with unrest later down the line. Let's get that in as well. Just queue that up, please, Northampton. And there we go. We've made it into the age of rocketry, which is brilliant. I don't think we're going to do much in the way of space race stuff. Don't hold your breath for that. I think maybe we might be a little bit behind. We are going to get faction governments, though. And then down here, what's that? Space race begins. Okay, so yep, don't hold your breath. And then over here, new national spirits. Okay, so we can get sort of MIBs as a national spirit, can we? Okie doke. So enter this brand new age age of rocketry unlocks assault rifles submachine guns national guards submarines and destroyers so with defense centers tower cranes radio stations national temples oil refineries and apartment buildings okay and to the moon this age introduces the space race the space race is a mega project a multi-turn effort to complete a major endeavor before other nations in this case, you are racing to be the first nation to land on the moon. Okay, <laughs> again, I think maybe we're not the ones to do this, but okie doke, we might join in for fun. Maybe we can sort of you know, work out where the moon is. That might be quite good for us. To join or start the race, complete a research to unlock the Space Center Capitol building and then build it. If in a variant age where the Space Center cannot be researched, it'll be unlocked by taking the Space Agency National Spirit. Okay, so Space Center Capitol building and then build it and that's how we start the race or join in okay fine yeah right i don't think we'll get to that point very soon uh, we do though i think have enough no not for a violent revolution in two turns we could go for a peaceful revolution of our government which might be quite good but right now we do need to pick a new national spirit okay somebody's already gone for space agency which is a little bit of a shame because it's to do with exploration and our other ones are in exploration, but never mind. Um, so that's all going to be about, you know, going to space and such like Space Center, Space Race Directive, National Aerospace Research Facility. OK, you get to wear an amazing kind of spacesuity thing. What else do we have? Special Operations is to do with warfare, modernization and Silicon Valley is engineering, diplomacy is international finance and political science, and arts is media conglomerate and pop culture. Somebody's already got pop culture, modernization's gone, as has space agency. That's only three. That's only three gone. So that would imply that somebody else hasn't quite got through to this age yet. So who's lagging behind us? Because I would expect to see four of them gone, unless somebody else has taken the same one as another nation, I suppose. So don't get the nice boost. Um, OK, OK, right. Let me look through these. Let's see what might be quite interesting. And then we'll sort of pick that. And then I think we'll wrap things up. We've got a couple of turns to wait until we pick a government. So we'll do that next time, I think. But uh, yeah, let's just see what we can do with this. Then. And also, how many points do we get per turn in everything? So arts is 11. Diplomacy is 11.4. Engineering is only 7. Warfare is only 8. Exploration is 12. Government is 26. Could we please have one that requires loads of government XP? Because we've got loads of that, but no. OK, uh, right. Let's go and see what might be good for us. I think we're going to go for Silicon Valley. I think that might work out quite well for us. It's all about computers. So we get rare earth metals appearing on five targets. So hopefully we can then mine them and get access to those. And then we can build computers with our computer factories. We get video game studios which seems sort of appropriate, doesn't it, given what we're playing right now. Uh, we get the Great Firewall to really help out with unrest suppression. Down here, look, we can get bonus knowledge from computers and simulations. That makes supercomputers cheaper, and surely supercomputers are going to be absolutely amazing. We get more specialists from computer labs. And then over here, if we build six supercomputers, I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do that, but if we do, we can then get ourselves some ingenuity points and more engineering XP. And also, as well as all that, we get to dress like that chappy there. It's all casual. It's all laid back. I mean, I know who you're supposed to be with your hand in your pocket and your turtleneck. Um, this is Jeff Tasks here. So we get to dress like you, which is brilliant. So I think, do you know what? Yes, let's go down this route here and get lots of computers on the go because I do like computers. So yes, we shall select that one, please. And... 
we've got 338 points. So we can get one of these in right now. I think let's get this done. Where are the rare earth metals going to appear? Hopefully they're in places which we can get to. Um, where are they? They are not immediately obvious. <laughs> are they in the sea? I don't know. Where are they? Where are the rare earth metals that you promised us, game? I don't know where they are. Unless it just kind of appeared. Ah, okay. We've already got them, I think. Um, yeah, look. Liverpool has one. Do they just appear in each one? And maybe they just appear in the capitals. Northampton's got, potentially some. Northampton's got one. Oh, maybe it appears in the capitals. Maybe I didn't read that quite right. Hang on. Silicon Valley. Rare earth metal on five times. Oh, capitals now generate rare earth metals. Ah, okay, right. So it's actually appearing in the capitals themselves. Okay, right. That's fine. So we've now got one, two, three, at least four lots. Is Malmo producing that? Can we see? I don't know. Um, okay, but we've got rare earth metals now. So we should be able to, in theory, then build ourselves computers. However, we now need to pick another technology. Oh my goodness me. The age of rocketry is here. Um, enterprise, heavy machinery, area warfare, computing. It's got to be computing. Given that we just unlocked Silicon Valley as our kind of government, no, not our government, as our sort of national spirit, possibly, yes, this would make sense, wouldn't it? So the computer lab turns computers into computer simulations. Yeah, let's get computing, please. Although, energy, that's wind farms. That's an improvement. Can we put them in the sea? Please say we can put them in the sea. And then we don't have to have kind of, you know, power plants or whatever on the land. We can just have loads of wind farms in the water. And what do we go through to next? I believe these are the final ages. From what I understand of the game, these here are the last ones. So age of visitors, that implies aliens. That's amazing. Age of ecology. Okay, that looks like we're looking after the planet. And Age of Information is just somebody stood in front of some great big screens. Um, yeah, okay, we'll go for computing first, and then we'll go for energy, I think. That's what we will do. I mean, yeah, do we need to go back and grab some of these? I mean, rail. I want to get rail. I want that for more domestic export slots, because they're really handy as well. But let's get computing first, given that we are now quite sort of techy with our Silicon Valley mindset going on. And with that done... We will wrap things up for now. I think we're at a pretty good point to stop things for the moment. I think when we come back, it's just going to be a case of trying to work our way through these Silicon Valley improvements and trying to get computers up and running, try and get our research sped up a little bit. But we also do need to pick a new government. So in two turns time, when we have our culture power, we shall be able to do our kind of, you know, peaceful government revolution thing and pick a new government type as well. And then who knows what we're going to do with that one? Who knows what kind of exciting things we can do with our brand new government. So there we go. We shall finish up for now, come back next time and just see how we get on in this kind of you know, increasingly modern world that we now find ourselves in. But yes, come back next time and find out what we do. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in millennia. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I'll see you next time. I've kind of built a very horrific kind of lounge. <laughs> wow. I mean, if that's not going to give you a headache, I don't know what will. It's the balcony of doom at the minute. We've now got ourselves the jungle room, the pink room, and the teapot's tip top suite. That actually makes my eyes go a bit funny. Should we have that one? <laughs> oh, that is completely perfect and dreadful.